Let's bring in Todd Lewis. Todd? Well, Rich, it was a shocking announcement. The framework agreement between the PGA Tour and the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, that happening June the 6th of last year. No group was more surprised than the membership, the players on the PGA Tour. Now, Monaghan felt that frustration when the players vented to him that night of June the 6th at the RBC Canadian Open. Monaghan feels like he lost the trust of the players with that announcement. He was humbled by it. He said he made a mistake there, and he's tried to rebuild that trust. Today, during his press conference, he was asked if he has more support from the players with him as a leader nine months later. You know, that's a question that you'll have to ask for players. I can't generalize as it relates to players, but clearly, given the responsibility I've been given by both boards, I have the support of our board, and I am the right person to lead us forward. I know that. I believe that in my heart, and I'm determined to, to you know, to do exactly that. Yeah, I mean, I've you know what I've said in the past uh, on on how I feel about it. Uh, you know, trust is uh, something something that's uh, pretty tender. So um, words are words, and I'd say he in, in my book he's got a long way to go. He he could be the guy, but in my book he's got a long way to go to to gain the trust of the the membership. Uh, I'm sure he's got the support of the board since they were with him uh, making some of those decisions. But for me personally, um, he's got quite a ways to go. I think it's really important that you know we're all rowing in the same direction. I think with this PGA Tour Enterprises Board, um, you know, I think it's really exciting that we do have a, a chance to kind of start with something new, and all move together in the right direction. Just to go back to the first question sure. and your answer, I didn't understand. I want to make sure that I understand it. Are you saying yeah. yes, you believe he's the best person, or you're just all rowing in the same direction now, and that's good enough? Yeah, I think it's very important that we're all rowing in the same direction. And right now, he's definitely our leader. And so it's important that we're all doing our best and, and you know, like I said, rowing in the right direction to do what's best for the membership and the tour. I think he's still trying to earn it back. And if you ask Jay, I think it'd be the same thing. Uh, I think <laughs> the players are very fickle uh, people. So I think, I think he's trying to earn it back and trying to do it through uh, great leadership and uh, Hopefully, uh, we agree because this tour is going to be the best tour when we, have, we trust the commissioner and, and the moves he makes. What has he done recently that you've seen to to try to win the trust of the players? Well, obviously, getting a deal done with SSG and giving us a lot of financial security is a, a great way to uh, earn some trust. I'd say that I certainly wouldn't be the one to do that job right now. So there's a part of me that feels like he's caught between a rock and a hard place. Um, but I certainly think that... I, backtracking on what you've so firmly stood upon you know with regards to um, you know you won't play PJ Tour anymore if you go to live um, you know we'll never sort of deal, deal with those boys I think all of that sort of up in the air right now because we're sort of moving in that direction in the aftermath of June 6th last year June 6th was rolled out very poorly and I don't think there was enough um, there, there was zero input from any players there was zero input from a lot of people Heard, there's zero input from anyone that led into June 6 other than you know two of our independent directors and Jay. Um, so that was bad. In the aftermath of that, I feel like we've overcorrected, and Jay, for a long time, took a little, little bit, a little bit of a backseat role, trying to defer to the players. He wanted the players on the policy board to uh, to to feel to be in charge. And I think in the last month, we've seen that pendulum swing back to neutral. And I think Jay is, I think he is the leader that this organization needs. I think he's a very selfless leader. Um, and I think, I think the, the last several months have been extremely challenging, so it's easy to point out all the things that maybe could have been done better um, if you're an outsider. But from one that's been in the room and seen it all, he, he's, he is doing an extremely good job given the challenges that we have in our environment right now. And I think he is, I think he is an extremely good leader. Now, talking to players over the last nine months, I can tell you the temperature is not quite as high now as it was last summer, but Jay Monahan understands that he still has some work to do to continue to rebuild that trust between himself and the players, and he's working hard to do that, meeting with players individually, sometimes flying to their homes to sit down with them in their, in their homes to talk about the issues that are ahead. Now, Scotty Scheffler normally is right down the middle, generally PC in regards to giving an opinion on a controversial issue. 
But today was a different story. Now, of course, he understands that the game is fractured, that the best players in the world aren't playing together more often because of the defections to live golf. And today, Scotty talked about the frustration of the fans. At the end of the day, I think we're trying to do our best to create the best product for the fans, but we can't control whether or not guys want to leave. If guys want to go take the money and leave, then that's their decision. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell guys not to take hundreds of millions of dollars. If that's what they think is best for their life, then go do it. Um, I'm not going to sit here and force guys to stay on our tour. Um, but at the end of the day, this is where I want to be, and – you know, we're continuing to grow what we're doing and what they're doing is not really a concern to me. And if they want, if the fans are upset, then look at the guys that left. You know, we had a tour, we were all together and the people that left are no longer here. And at the end of the day, that's where the splintering comes from. And as far as our tour goes, like I said, we're doing our best to create the best product for the fans. And that's really where we're at. Now, I talked to a few members of the PGA Tour Policy Board today, and, and they told me that there is a sense of urgency in that room to try to get this deal done between the PGA Tour, PGA Tour Enterprises, and Live Golf or the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia. Now, if a deal is reached, there's also approval by the Department of Justice, and the PGA Tour is assuming it's going to take close to a year to get that done. So we will see how things develop over the next few months. Rich?